hi my beauties welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to show you guys how to achieve the sleek invisible ponytail and this is very affordable too since I used a three dollar braiding hair to do this hope you all enjoy and don't forget to like and subscribe So I'm just going to start all the way from the scratch and show you guys how I achieved this hairstyle and I will simply comb my hair and bring it all the way to the front and you can decide to put your bun anywhere you would like it to be but I really prefer the top part of my head. Also, I've been going natural for a few months now and I have a new video on how I get my hair so silky and straight so definitely hit this card that just popped up on the screen. Alright, so after I've centered the bun where exactly I would like it to be, I will use a dense brush to brush all the fly away hair. Also, I like to go in with water in a spray bottle and spray my hair to get it to lay flat. So this is one of the most important steps to achieve this slick ponytail and you can use any gel of your choice to slick down your hair but I prefer to use my got to be ultra glue and you just want to saturate it all over your hair and then brush it down. I know everyone have their preference so if you don't like that gel feel you can skip this step but I don't mind because it just helps my hair lay slick down. And over here I'm going to start braiding my hair and I'm not sure how to explain this. You just divide your hair into three and begin braiding. I believe almost everyone know how to do a simple braid. And once I'm done braiding I'll put the braid in a small bun and this will help your pony stay put when you finally attach it. Also I will spray my hair with some hairspray. So I'm just going to go ahead and tie a scarf on my head and this will help with slicking down the hair and also helps with the drying process. For the ponytail part I'm going to be using expression braiding hair in color 2 and this is a very affordable means of doing a ponytail without wasting 30 to 50 dollars on a drawstring depending on the length and I will simply cut the braid into two equal parts and then begin drawing out the hair. This is very important and as it helps get rid of that blonde cut in a braiding hair when you pull it out from the bag and also you can draw out the hair to help increase the length. So I'm just going to comb out the braiding hair and use a hair grease to smooth it out and I used two packs of braiding hair. I totally forgot to mention that, I'm sorry guys. So this is one particular part you need to get right and I'm going to be using a hair scrunchie and you want to put the hair in between the scrunchie as you guys can see me doing here and tie it tightly. Then you need another scrunchie to help hold the braiding hair together. You better understand the importance of this as we put on the ponytail. Alright, so in putting the ponytail, you need to know where exactly you want your ponytail to fall. If you want it by the side, you can apply this crunchy by the side, but I would like mine to go all the way back. So I will place the ponytail right in front of my natural hair bun and then tie this crunchy around my bun about two to three times. And you want it very tight and snugged, and then you can flip the hair to the back. Now you want to go in with bobby pins to safely secure the ponytail. Just go in and use as much as you need. And then I'll section up a little part of the hair and this will help us hide the puffy bun you guys can see right there. You just want to take it round the ponytail to securely hide the bun. Thank you. 
You can go in and use more bobby pins to secure the hair you just tied around the ponytail. Also, I like to use a finished mascara wand and brush it on my hairline to give me an illusion of a fuller hairline. And that is it for this video, my loves. I hope you all enjoyed and please don't forget to help me share this video. Like and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video very, very soon. Bye!